It's vital our voices are heard and action is taken. By 2050, emissions from aviation will constitute around 25% of total UK emissions. This would require serious reductions and restrictions in all other sectors of the economy, including the complete decarbonisation of the transport sector and real significant um, renewable energy production. Any improvements in technology must not be squandered with aviation expansion. The government needs to meet its um, targets to reduce CO2. It knows full well the crisis that this planet faces with climate change. So what is its answer? To build a new runway at Heathrow, concentrating 250,000 more flights a year over London. That's 700 flights a day that will have immediate local health issues. Heart disease, lung disease um, and mental stress. They should hang their head, heads in shame for the local issue and the wider environment. The North Bell Bromway Coalition, part of the State Grounding Network, um, are, are made up from uh, local authorities, environmental non-government organisations, resident-led campaign groups, MPs, and now we're signing up unions as we make the arguments more and more aware. I came to this as a resident. My the village where I was born and my parents farm the land will be destroyed and the new boundary fence will be 54 paces from my front door. But, ultimately, this battle is for the future of the planet. And where those with the smallest carbon footprint will suffer the greatest losses. The government are about to launch a consultation on its national aviation strategy. It will allow airports right across the country to cram as many flights as they can with no regard to our environment. We've also heard that it will include a framework Decided on how to include another runway. That's not just a third runway, a fourth somewhere else. We will not accept the third, we will not accept the fourth anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Theresa May claims to speak for the many, not the few. 75% of flights are taken by 15% of the population. Yeah. Theresa May claims she also considers when making the decision what her pastor father would have said. Amanda Cloth would not be going for this 100%. It's very simple. No ifs, no buts, no third runway. No ifs, no buts, no third runway. So re, so may, what would your father say? No ifs, no buts. No new runways! Thank you very much.